This is the world's smallest infrared camera. The reason that this camera is so small is it lacks major components that cameras normally need, like a screen, controls, a battery. That's because everything is powered through your phone. Once you have the app installed, every single time you plug this little camera into the bottom of your phone, it immediately pulls it up and starts displaying whatever the camera's looking at. And of course, now it's staring at you. Let's generate some heat real quick and check out some of the settings that this camera has to offer. My favorite feature is the scale button. This will overlay a temperature gauge directly over the screen that ranges between the coolest and hottest spots that it sees. The camera can see temperatures as cold as negative four degrees all the way up to 1,112 degrees Fahrenheit, plus or minus 3.6 degrees. There are 11 different palettes to choose from which makes for a unique viewing experience. I personally like to switch between the iron red, rainbow three, and red hot. I went to a house where the complaint was that the upstairs system never turned off and the thermostat always had a really high number. I came across this closet unit that was open to the attic and the thermostat actually happened to be on one of those walls. Now this was a dead giveaway that I had a lot of heat issues related to the attic and the closet sharing the same air, but showing them the heat with the camera was a total game changer. Instead of trying to explain it to them and hope that they understand, I could easily show them exactly what was going on with their wall and that was it. Now, I actually have the same issue with this house. The supply plan was recently replaced within 24 hours of this call, and the customer said that ever since the work was done, it just didn't satisfy. Well, when I opened up the door, I noticed that all the insulation that was blocking the attic heat from coming into the closet area was gone. It was removed and it wasn't replaced. That's when I noticed that the thermostat was on the same wall as a unit. Now, once I got the camera out, showed them the hot walls and related it to the insulation being missing, Everything was fine, got the insulation replaced, and just let the wall cool down. I was actually inside of the app playing around with the different colors when I noticed that the walls in this house were just really hot. Why are they so hot? There's so much heat surrounding these boxes that just shouldn't be there. So I went up in the attic and I took a look. Sure enough, insulation that was vertical on the walls were just falling off. And the customer said that she was gonna replace it in the winter and I can't blame her, it's hot. Now we've seen what the hot spots look like on the inside of the home. So let's take it up to the attic and see the conditions that our equipment is actually subject to. This is a vertical gas system in the attic. Notice how hot all of these surface areas are on the cabinet and the ductwork. It's honestly impressive to see how efficiently these machines run, even with the little bit of insulation that separates that hot attic and our conditioned air. Now a massive source of heat that is constantly overlooked are the attic stairs. They're primarily located in the hallway so they don't take away from the aesthetics, which I can appreciate until you realize that 99% of them are not insulated. This is what that thin piece of wood holding the stairs up looks like when you use the P2 camera. Now that is a ton of heat just radiating down from your attic into your living space. And you know what the best part is? They're normally located near your thermostat. You're wondering all day why the temperature isn't dropping on your thermostat when your attic stairs is just heating up your entire hallway, tricking the thermostat into thinking that it's warmer than it is. Control boards will generate heat even without any moving parts. That's why a technician will say that a board has burned up. This board is perfectly fine and you can see how much heat is generated from handling the 24 volt control circuit and the 124 volt blower circuit. Infrared cameras are awesome at finding inconsistencies in electrical components and luckily we don't have any here. Outdoor units are known for their high operating cost and that's because they pull a ton of power and when something is pulling a ton of power you can find hot spots due to loose connections so let's see if we have any here luckily on this contactor we don't have any hot spots which is nice but you can see that the coil on the contactor is running pretty hot the two main components on the condenser are the fan motor and the compressor and if you look right here you can actually see the fan motor on top and the compressor down below both of those are operating perfectly normal. Now the disconnect wasn't so lucky. You can actually see the line side wires are perfectly fine, but the load side, condenser side, are starting to get a little warm. So we're gonna take a screwdriver and tighten those down and hopefully that corrects the issue so we don't have any burned up lugs in the future. The infrared P2 Pro is going to be staying in my tool bag for the foreseeable future. And now being able to show my customers exactly what's going on in their house that is a total game changer. And if you'd like to pick one up, you can click the Amazon link down below. And thank you so much to Infrared for sending this out and letting me review this product on the channel. Y'all have a good one.